Hello all you good people! Welcome back to more Super Robot Wars. Today we have some interesting stuff to go on. We got some real good boys that are going to be joining our team. Real, real good boys. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, uh, and we got some DLC missions right after. We'll see which ones we get to, which ones we don't. When last we left our heroes, uh, we had just finished off our route split, figured out what was happening to the folks on the other route. Hey, look, the Cross Ange girls finally get along. Most of them, at least. Uh, and they're less awful to each other. But most of them seem to have a crush on one of the guy on one of the guys from Gundam Seed. There's no accounting for taste. Uh, then we fought uh, Mike Gain's brother, Black Mike Gain. Uh, but unfortunately, we tore him in half, so uh, he kind of needs to get repaired. So we'll see him later. Uh, then we found that the uh, uh, villains from Mike Gain officially teamed up, uh, and we got a couple of throwaway units from uh, Gundam 00. So now we're going to go on what is technically a route split, but it's just one mission uh, that changes its story slightly based on whoever your main character is. So why don't we hop on in? Nurgle Heavy Industries President's Room. It appears Tuatha de Danan has departed safely. So it was left the atmosphere and linked up with Nesco then. So yeah, uh, they said something about Tuatha de Danan being put into repairs and whatnot because it's a submarine. They were outfitting it so it can travel in space. For reasons. We've also received word that the item was safely delivered to Nesco. Well, Captain Ruri has her sights on Anamarasu, Amaterasu, but can we really leave? Yes, this is Akatsuki. He never wears shirts. Thanks to personnel changes, repairs to Atha de Nan are ongoing. The Elder Simpuji is none too happy about that. Explain yourself, President! Where do you get off having the submarine's repairs done at Nurgle? It's been far too long, but anger is only going to give you wrinkles. Not if my Nato has anything to say about it. Answer my question or I'll shave that beautiful man of yours down to nothing. Well, you deal in rail, I deal in ships. They're completely different, are they not? You have a point. It's just that I really wanted to meet Tessa. <sighs> He's an old pervert. What do you... Just, eh. That's what I thought. But you've got Captain Hoshino, don't you? I don't care if it's the Electron Fairy or Tessa. I want them all to myself. <sighs> They're both as bright as they are beautiful. Either would make a fine wife for Mido. And this is his other reason. Trust me, it is just that he's an old pervert. But he also wants to marry off Mido. You're a doting parent and a dumb old man. At least Akatsuki has got a good head on his shoulders. Even though he looks like he hasn't slept in five days. If you keep this up, the reputations of the former Celestial Bing members are going to be in shambles. Eh? You really thought I didn't know? Guess that's why you don't take me seriously. You left Celestial Bing when you heard about some Gundams causing problems. You deserve a lot of credit for establishing a neutral real worldwide network, less susceptible to ravages of war after that. <laughs> because this old man makes me groan a lot! It's... there's correlation there. That was a long time ago. And apparently in this uh, timeline, Yujiro was a member of Celestial Being. Huh. I don't want to remember how all of that ended for my son and his wife. Sorry I brought it up. That's why I want more than anything for my grandson Mido to be happy. I won't let anyone get in the way of that. Looks like this is going to take a while. Is the new model really that much behind schedule? I'm afraid so. It would take a month even if we rushed it. But I think that everyone in Nesco B was just, uh, will do just fine on their own. It's not whether you think they can win. Thanks for taking, talking to old man for us. My relationship with Simpuji goes back to my parents. It's not like I can flat out refuse. The two top young leaders seem to be moving in totally opposite directions. The young Simpuji hero can keep at it. I want to see how far his use will take him. Times have changed, I suppose. They sure have, as have Tenkawa and I. It's sad. Indeed. But I'm ever the realist, and that's why I think Nurgle needs to sell itself with a more sensational win if it's going to get any credit. Though it really depends on whether the nice guy uses the present we're giving him. Crimson Group is already helping the Martian successors, after all. At the rate they're growing in power, even our company may be at risk. There's more to it than that. What do you mean? 
Becoming the top of Nurgle teaches you to, uh, teaches a few things about how this world is structured. Like Simpuji concern, our company gets involved in seedier affairs. And that leads me to my own conclusion. If we le let them have their way, their vile stench is bound to spread. I see. I think the only way to fix where we find ourselves is to destroy the world and start over. Are you talking world domination? Are you listening? I told you, I'm a realist. And that's why I'll take the realistic approach. Trickery no hero would think to employ. Where'd you think of getting the, uh, where'd you get those unusual clothes, by the way? It's nice, huh? I keep it around for special occasions. This conversation feels like it's bouncing between like three different topics. So it's hard to follow. But basically he's just saying he's a much more shady CEO than Mido is, and he will do stuff that Mido couldn't think of. But in theory, he has a, a, he has the world's interest in heart. But I was really surprised to hear Tuatha Te Danann can navigate space. In our world, battles take place in both atmospheric and non-atmospheric conditions. Danann was initially designed to be a submarine and then later modded for spaceflight. But because it uh, originally couldn't be used in space, it takes a lot of prep to get it up there. Battleship's building is where Nurgle excels. We were right to ask them to handle this. Tessa might be inclined to disagree, though. Is it because of President Hatsuke? Knowing where the shirt came from is important. Yeah, more or less. According to Commander Mar uh, Mardukas, uh, he'll come it up with any and every reason to ask you on dates and doesn't take rejection lightly. He's the same as ever, I see. But at least it's allowed us to get out into outer space. From here, I can really appreciate just how blue the Earth really is. You said it. It's not hard to see why it's called the Water Star. I'm glad Tuatha de Danann gave me a chance to see the deep blue seas. Tessa. Tuatha de Danann is an attempt to return strategic values to the sea and other environments that have been all but abandoned by mankind. The individual who launched the project maybe even considered the past in its conception. You might be right about that. I heard that the seas are red in Judo and Mithril's world. Seeing them like this makes it really hard to dig in deeper. But seriously, you really think Paramail can work in space? In case you remember from some of the scenes we saw, the Paramail aren't exactly airtight. No doubts about it. So Bucci Heavy Industries have been working tirelessly to make sure the cockpits aren't airtight. This is Sax, by the way. He's from Full Metal Panic. Though I heard most of the work was done by subcontractors. Are you sure it's going to be okay? I've heard that those smaller workshops are good, and that they're connected to old Nadesco members. And what if we're attacked and holes open up in the cockpit? We'll be dead before we know what hit us. Oh no. Hilda, please watch what you say. Well, it's the truth, ain't it? And it's not like it's limited to space battles either. You see what happened when you fight in dragons in unarmored cockpits? Now you think about it, you're right. But nothing feels better than the wind while in flight. The moral of the story is that those who uh, at the top don't place much value on the lives of its normas. You know, it's okay if you don't want to be part of the upcoming operation. Well, if it isn't our valiant captain. You and the first paramail squadron are participants in our uh, operations. Are participating in our operations, having been employed by Celestial Being. This happened on the root split. Uh, basically, Celestial Being just bought out all their contracts. Because they were like, no, your situation is shit. You're taking orders from me now. <laughs> it's essentially how the conversation went. However, I'm sure your contract gives you leeway to refuse certain orders. You don't say. I guess that settles it then. I'm in. Angelise? Hilda, you just said those at the top don't place much value on our lives. What of it? I don't know what others feel about, uh, uh, how the others feel about, but I do place a lot of value on my life. And that's why I swore to survive and fight no matter what. Ange. And you know what it also means? If none of you show up, all the rewards are as good as mine. H hold on a second. That's not fair. Then let's fight together, without anyone absent. Captain Testarossa is right. We have to band together if we want to hope to return to Arsenal alive. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much, Captain Testarossa. Your words are exactly what Salia needed. Everybody's nervous. Fight together and we survive together. You're so kind, Captain Tessa. I wish you would replace Jill as our commander. And our commander. Uh, we could start by replacing that grumpy Salia as captain of our squadron. See, it... It sucks that Ange still doesn't like Salia because Salia's got... <laughs> Salia's done some good growing, too. I actually like her. So Tessa would be wearing your rider suits, and there's Kurtz to ruin everything. I could get behind that with Saburota as his Echo. Who the hell asked you anyway? They seem relaxed. I'm sure she was trying to ease their tension. When fighting in space, it's zero G and enemies are coming from all directions. Your response to that dictates whether you live and die. 
Don't f and don't you forget, Mido. Remember, Tetsuya's training, Mido. Got it. Thank you, Tetsuya. Can I have a minute, Tetsuya? What is it, Chido? Do you know, uh, do you know of the Mezinger Z? I don't, but its name sounds like greats. There you have it. It's just a coincidence. But Tetsuya lost his memory, so maybe he's just forgotten. Hmm, I guess you got a point. Gundam exists in both Tobia's world and this one. Mazinger might be no different. That's another possibility. I suppose that Mazinger Z is a robot from your world then? I'm busy with a mission right now, but tell me more when things quiet down. Okay, sure. Tetsuya is always cool as a cucumber. It never ceases to amaze me. You never know, though. It's possible that he'll be a completely different person when he gets his memory back. Perhaps he'll prove surprisingly playful. I just can't imagine that. Hmm. What is it, Nine? Never mind. It's nothing. Do I have to do passage? So you think Tetsuya is hiding something? Yes. There was a faint reaction in Tetsuya's face when Mazinger Z was mentioned. Eh, micro-expression, huh? I'm starting to wonder whether or not he's actually lost his memory. Another reason why I really like Nine. She's very smart. I see. Please instruct me how to proceed, sis. For starters, tell no one what you just told me. Why not? We should report to Captain Ruri or Sumeragi or to have them monitored or otherwise dealt with. Dealt with? Question. Or confined, if need be. I don't think that'll be necessary. We can at least tell he's not an enemy. Isn't that enough? If you continue to watch things unfold, you'll start questioning everything. I can't comprehend such illogical thinking. Everyone has their reasons, and Tetsuya came alone from his world. Could we please hold off a little while longer? We're in the middle of an important mission. We should quell any and all concerns if it means even the slightest reduction in risk. Risk, you say? Do you think Tetsuya would betray us? The worst possibilities can't be dismissed. You can't treat a comrade to risk his life for you in battle like that. Can you trust people who lie? Tell me this, Nine. Have you ever kept a secret from me? Is it true that you were given human form for the sake of communication? Are you implying that I lied? I mean, you weren't communicating with anyone in this world until you reunited with me now, were you? Um, isn't there some other reason you were given human form? And this is where Chitose shows off that she's pretty bright, too. Do you th really think an AI can lie? You're much more than an AI to me. Huh. What is it? An attack from outside. But we heard nothing about incoming enemies. If our adversaries are marching successors, they'll be able to move long distance in seconds. Ozone jumps. Yeah, Chitose is no idiot. She's real bright. Scenario 19. Lies and feelings. Yep. Alright, time to sortie out people. We get 13 units this time. Uh, so we get two extras beyond what we normally have. Who do we want? Who do we want? Who do we want? Oh! I didn't have double Zeta Gundam uh, listed as one of my go-to units. Oh well. Who's good in space? Who's good in space? Who's good in space? Let's get Strike Freedom Gundam out. Our enemy used a boson jump to get the jump on us. I guess they got wind of our move toward Amaterasu. What is up, another challenger? And a challenger? Anu challenger? Never mind. Anyway, hi. <laughs> Shose was a reasonable int, but not so much in the wisdom department. Yeah, that's probably fair. Then we need to repel this enemy attack and get to the Amaterasu as soon as we can. All units, break out the enemy encirclement. Intercept any enemies approaching battleships. Well, that woke everyone up. But we're at a disadvantage. Boson jumps allow them to preempt our every move. Is that so? Then we'll just have to turn the tide. Let's do this, Nine. We'll bust through with the Vang Ray. Hmm. Nine? Hmm. Let's play on the tournament, new challenger. Ah! Oh, okay. That makes sense. A new ch So I was right the first time. A new challenger. Groovy. Uh, it's also a reference to a new something in this game as well, but I'm going to be keeping another secret for a little bit. Enough already. I know it, why you're acting that way. If you're not going to help, I'll just have to win this myself. What's wrong, Chitose? Nothing's wrong, Tatsuya. Nothing at all. 
what to do. I just don't see Tatsu the same way anymore. Nine's words may have shaken me a bit. All right, our goal is to defeat all enemies in two turns. No fucking around, folks. We gotta move quick, because they are all around us. Let's make with some other. Start with Tatsuya. And yes, Mazinger, a great Mazinger can fly in space. Oh, wait, we've seen him in space before. So, this isn't new. Almost a one shot. Oh, uh, Gurren Logan and Eva? Gurren Logan is in the next game in this series, Super Robot Wars X, which I'll be playing after I'm done with this one at some point. But, Eva, I'm assuming you're talking about Evangelion? Evangelion is not in the next one, however. But Gurren Logan is. God, your range is ridiculous, lock on. I have the cases for both those games right here in front of me, so I'm just checking the fronts of it for like what series show up. They have a good summary of like every unit, uh, of like the different series. Oh, you love those two series interacting? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's not Roman numerals, because the next game after V and X is T. They're not meant to be Roman numerals. They're supposed to represent VXT. It's, uh, uh, there's a specific reason in T that they have for that. Also, they're running out of letters. <laughs> so... It's understandable that they're just kind of sticking whatever letters they've got. I mean, we're still gonna get some good interactions in this game, that's for damn sure. Damn! Two levels. VTTXGW. <laughs> I, I can't wait for that world. I'll be honest, I cannot wait. Um, do you have charge? You do not. Okay, so you won't be able to attack it. Oh, you do have post movement attack though, I forgot. Character has post movement. Yeah, you know what? With the, with the new Eva, with the new Evangelion uh, rebuild. Yeah. That, uh. It's likely that they'll put them in the next game because uh, they love Evangelion in this series. So anytime there's a new Evangelion of some description, they love to put that storyline in as far as it can. Oh look, it's the wimpiest ship ever with the wimpiest attack ever. Bullseye. Fire. Eee. That's all that's gonna happen. I hate the ship. It's so boring. When you make a battleship and you make me bored using it, you have done it wrong. <laughs> 
Uh, yep, this should be close enough. I've not seen the latest Evangelion movie myself. I don't know if I was even planning on it, really. I'm, despite being a huge fan of Super Robot anime, not really a huge fan of Evangelion. Mostly because I just want the creator of Evangelion to get to do his own shit. He's so tired of Evangelion. He just wants out. <laughs> And they put a drill on that little shit. <laughs> uh, yep, you can hit from all the way over here. Hey, look, it's one of the scrubs actually figuring out what his purpose is. Uh, get you here. Should be enough for a vertical slice. Yeah, but didn't- haven't they told Anno that he's done with Evangelion, like, twice now? They're gonna try. I- I remember, like, there's a rumor or something, or I don't know if it was even confirmed, that they were like, let me do stuff with, like, the Kamen Rider- not the Kamen Rider series, was, I think it was Kamen Rider, but no, it might have been a different series. He's like, I only do more Evangelion if you let me do this other series. <laughs> from now on. It's just that poor guy. <laughs> I just want him to do what he wants and have fun again. <laughs> the fact that he made the Curse of Evangelion a literal thing in the series just says so much. <laughs> Uh, you don't have Excel, no, but you have Snipe. That's almost as good. Okay, and remember, Dieturn 3, bigger than some of our battleships. I, I mean, don't spoil other folks in chat. Like hold off on that kind of stuff. Me personally, I don't care about Evangelion spoilers because I play the Super Robot Wars games where they spoil Evangelion plot. <laughs> so it's not a big deal to me. But if folks don't want to be spoiled on Evangelion, well, hey, to tell you, Rebuild's about the only thing not in so, uh, uh, I might be able to just beat them all this turn if I'm good, but I don't know if I care about doing that. God, freaking damn it, you have too many attacks. Kira, what is wrong with you? Oh, he just has a torso laser. Okay! Sure, Kira. Torso laser. You're not the only one who watches these, Clover Duff. But yeah, it's... it's seeing... <laughs> Seeing Shinji with positive role models is always my favorite genre. <laughs> oh, 
<gasps> Every little word makes him suspect something. What an annoying AI. We're gonna have to do have a few words later. Oh, and as a note, in the previous scenario, scenario 18, you could have gotten an extra bonus to your attack points if Battle Bomber defeated a non-AI unit. I didn't care because one, it's only 50 attack points. Two, I'm not going to be using Battle Bomber. He kind of sucks. Bye bye. Uh, only one jerk over there, so I don't care about you. Only one jerk over there, so I don't care about you. There's only one jerk over there. So this is space. Don't be silly, Fallen Princess. Are you really so scared that you have to state the obvious? But Hilda, it's like there's no up or down. It's really bothering me. Remember, everyone, remember the simulation. Easier said than done. This is really difficult. But we have to try. Our survival depends on it. I'm not going to sell my life short. I will survive this. <laughs> That's also true, new challenger. That's also true. Thirteen health? Ah, oh, and you're killing me here. Because you didn't kill him! Make with the murder next time! It's space! Everything is silent! Okay, good. You're more than close enough. Let's go with the Buster, just because I don't think I've seen it used yet. Oh! Damn it. <laughs> then I'll Avour. They have a lot of typos in this game, for some reason. I mean, fairness, it is a buttload of text for them to translate. That's no no uh, shade of the localization team. It's just, you know. There's just a lot of typos that sort of jump out at you and surprise you sometimes. Okay. Uh... Nah, go big. He's at full health. Number three. Says the soldier. Now let's find a new challenger. The entire point of this game is to expose more people to Super Robot Wars and expose them to series that other people love. If you're excited and passionate about the series that are in it, that's kind of the point. Boom. Hey, Sasuke upgraded from punching someone in the crotch. Now he's actually punching them at, like, mid-body. Okay. Uh, you have Excel. You should be more than fast enough to hit this asshole. Just go big. Why am I even holding back? Okay. 
I found out from uh, Ethan Steele, who streams basically all the Super Robot Wars games. He even streams the ones that don't get translated because he uses fan translations and he speaks enough Japanese that he can uh, understand it. Darn it! I messed up. Oh well. We're just not going to kill them this turn. <laughs> I'm going to use the weakest attack. Yep, same here. I didn't know most of these series existed until I started watching Super Robot War shows. I was like, oh, this is fucking cool. Like, I knew Full Metal Panic, but I didn't know Full Metal Panic had robots in it. I only watched, I only read like a couple of chapters of its manga. Don't use the missile. You have a giant fuck off cannon. Use the giant fuck off cannon. But Gunbuster, yeah! Gunbuster, the first series, yeah! The second series, mm. <laughs> I love how Buri says that. If you're not gonna surrender, I just have to vaporize you. Oh, isn't that cute? It used a barrier! Oh, friend, no. Uh, fortune! I gotta admit, for all my criticisms of the Cross Anne series, the music isn't one of them. The music's pretty badass. Uh, no, you're gonna use Thunder Break because I said so. Says the guy with the chest laser. <laughs> I think I've seen that mission. I th God damn it, Super Robot Wars! Balance your audio! <laughs> that hurt my ears! Also, that's lightning! Thunder is the noise! Okay, that should be all of them. We managed somehow. We gotta be careful. I pose on particle response. More enemies on the way. More Jupiter folks. They don't know when to quit. Oh no, they're targeting the Desco. Actually, it seems like they're targeting all of us. Uh, what? They all blow up! Reinforcements? Look! Oh, those aren't good reinforcements. It's the drones again. They're late. This is Ghoulie. I love Ghoulie. You're not strong or smart enough. And you're definitely not fast enough. You! No way! 
You dodged at that range? What did I tell you? You're not fast enough. It's not a drone. Somebody's piloting it. Who? You're as stupid as I thought you'd be. What? You can call me what you will, but if you really think you know wh th what I am, your incompetence past the point of salvation. I suppose you're not interested in hearing our side of the story. Tedious talk only serves to hinder my speed, so I'll just tell you what you want to know most. I'm on a mission to destroy you. I am your enemy. For now, I've deleted any fools that seem like they'd be a hindrance. Deleted? You don't mean the Martian successors. He was your enemy, wasn't he? You must be grateful. I mean, I know they're egomaniacal terrorists and all, but do you really think killing people with a cowardly surprise attack warrants that level of boasting? Speed is all I seek. I just erase all obstacles. In our, if our words have no impact, you leave us no choice but to fight. Good. That's what I want. Because that's your answer. We can ex expedite the process. What's with this guy? Here I come, fools. Speed kills. All right. We have some new enemies, and unfortunately, it's still their turn. But at least we got the SR point. Really is a speedrunner. Motherfucker speedruns everything. Are all of y'all gonna go ahead and pick on Shin? Shin's not exactly one-shotting everything, but he's no slouch, so he's still getting some work done. Yeah, that's the best you've got, huh? Okay. See that new challenger, but I don't think you would see that very much in the Super Robot War series. <laughs> kind of in the name. They don't want to emphasize that part. They they like the robot part more. Yeah, they're just going after our our lightest units that are up front the most right now, so Ange and Shin make sense.
Yeah, look at that! A full team of robots that are actually surviving our attacks the first time we hit them with them. Well, until they picked a fight with Chitose. Them. What? Gasp! Enemies that are actually sturdy enough to stand up to us. Alright, now that it's actually our turn. I want to show off Guli. This is Guli, pilot of the Blum Blarmag. Eight movement. Baseline. That is not bad. He also had, but that's because he also has dash. <laughs> Potential fighter spirit folks over limit instinct and ignore size. He he comes with a booster, so that's why, again, more movement. Uh so yeah, he only has two attacks though. One of them is ignore size, post movement, but his side impulsor is pretty damn decent range. So getting outranging him is gonna take some effort. Uh get you closer. I'm gonna focus on getting my units there the furthest away back in for now. You have Excel now! Boom! You have Excel! Boom! Oh, you can actually hit someone! <laughs> Do it! Just for the... just for the lulls. Just imagine, like, the Huckabine coming at you at, like, near light speeds. Because that's what he just fucking did. And then just rolls up next to you and slices you with a sword. I could see that happening. Like, as a... As a cool head cannon for crossover stuff. Nadesuko music that they absolutely love to use every single time Nadesuko is in the Super Robot Wars series, which is often as hell. It's a little too chill for me. For combat. <laughs> but then again, I'm a metalhead, so I like my, my music ramping up all the time. Boom! Alright, let's get you closer so you can give your command bonus to folks. Uh, 
no one else is near you at the moment. So let's do a Trans Am. No, Trans Am's gonna be overkill. Everything's gonna be overkill. Because I actually upgraded lock on this playthrough. Yeah, yeah, I, I'd like it. One of the things I always wanted in the Super Robot Wars series was more, uh, was more pilot crossover. Like, I don't want just new types flying, flying the Gundams. I want shit that doesn't make sense. Put Ryoma in a Gundam. I want to see what he would do with it. Everyone combining finger lasers. The closest we get to stuff like that is Super Robot Wars Z1, where they have like all attack, or they have like squad based attacks where the entire squad attacks at once. And, but they don't still combine. You didn't see the kick between Gunbuster Ava and Gary Logan. What's wrong, fools? That all you got? So he's not all talk. And his robot, its technology greatly exceeds our own. Is he human or some kind of alien? I had higher hopes for this mission. Time to hurry along. As if we'll let you. Okay, woman, you're first. Ah! Yeah, he just kind of chases her. It's no use, I can't shake him. Is that as fast as you can go? Playtime is over. Now die. You! For all you talk about speed, you sure like to run your mouth. Tetsuya! What are you doing, Chichose? The Vangray may must be able to move it faster at maximum output. Um, thank you for waiting, sis. Nine! I've upgraded the Vangray system to better match your current abilities. It was originally designed for boasts on jump tactics, and having judged them to be needed this time, I had worked on these features rush. I am sorry it took longer than expected, due to be having to do it at while in battle. You weren't sulking, were you? Well, maybe a little. No worries, late is still better than never. Enough, you two. Speed Mania here is fresh out of patience. Damn you. You dare to ignore me? Looks like we have more backup. Where did that attack come from? This loudmouth is chasing an early grave. Good boys! For all your talk about speed, you sure don't know when to shut up. Ryoma! F91! Is that Kincaid in there? It sure is. Didn't expect to find you here, Tobia. All units, reform and cover them. Tactical officer Kadai! I see you're piloting Cosmo Zero. Does that mean you escaped Yamato? It does indeed. Guess that you're already aware that Yamato has fallen in the hands of the Martian successors. Operations Officer Mori! We're the autonomous Nadesco squad, allied with Earth Federation. I've heard much about Yamato from Kitsuragi Chidose. We're on a mission to defeat Martian successors. We would like to propose an alliance. Yamato Tactical Officer Lieutenant Suzumu Kodai here will do as instructed once we're out of this. But we've also been forced to fight those guys from Dimensional Rift in this world. Except one of them is manned this time. Maybe we're closer to learning their identity. Seems I've got more obstacles to deal with. You're still gonna prattle on about deleting us? You. Reform, Chitose. Roger that. It's faster than ever. I've determined that you're currently able to get more power out of Bangray and have gradually cut its limiter in return. Does that mean I'm getting better? The data seems to support that. Show us what you've got, Chitose. Okay. Nine, test your wrist's neck to save me. You got a problem with that? I do not. I never imagined a fringe race could be the, make this much of a fool out of me. We won't go as far as deletion, but could you at least step aside? You dare to ignore me? It's about the last thing I want to hear out of someone who treats lives like a father. Let's go, Nine. The motto awaits us. Okay, sis. All right, so with that, nothing's actually changed. <laughs> we didn't gain new attacks, nothing really upgraded. It's, it's a story thing only. But you do get a tactical bonus, tactical point bonus, if Kodai gets two kills in this mission. 
guess what's hard to do? Getting him two kills in this mission. So, VSVR, let's soften some uh, asshole up with King K. Now we launch a counterattack. Wait for us, Yamato. We'll be back in no time. Well, so much for softening him up. That second hit is probably going to kill him. The new challenger, you watched a few too many Sentai series. And by that, I mean not enough. You should always watch more Sentai. <laughs> That's perfect. It's basically a mercy. I will take it. I like giving cheer to Kodai whenever he gets kills. I can't believe Ensign Kisaragi is a part of the force moving on Amaterasu. That's the way the wind blows. We'll join them and retake Yamato. But first, we're gonna have to find a way out of this mess. You can do this, Kodai. We're counting on you. Little <laughs> machine gun! with giant cloaks are completely pointless. But yes, they are also cool. Time for the big hit. The Black Getter Strike. You're gonna help me rehabilitate my body after a month of confinement. Give me everything you've got. Nobody's gonna stop me now. When the play print is sick. <laughs> yeah. Punche, punche, punche. God damn it, Ryoba. It's max hit, and that wasn't even a crit. Ah, I love this wild, wild man. Uh, let's actually use Boost Dash to get him closer. Otherwise, he's just not gonna see any action. Uh, you have Excel, because of course you do. You are a speedy, speedy boy. <laughs> Ryoma's a badass. As always. Volley, oh, Volley of Fire is way overkill. Uh, let's just do this then. Uh, plus? Lasers. Okay. Friends, um... <laughs> And you must really like the Mazingers from this game. Oh, 
Oh, oh, come on! Gundam Seed Boys. Or, no, sorry, he's double out. Uh, are my remaining units. Okay. Ooh, you're not close enough to anything to kill. I'm gonna actually leave you back here and just do a weaker attack, just because everybody's already targeting him. Another kill for playing friend. Yeah, I don't think even I can get Kadai that far that fast. We'll see. Oh, okay! I didn't know you had that attack. Shin's like, catch the frisbee! Make sure you use your tink! Estimating that pilot possesses seed. Well, I mean, he is genetically male. Yeah, yeah, don't talk about it yet. That's, that's definitely later. Too soon. Too soon. Don't do it just yet. <laughs> I love it when the Gundam boys just shoot out giant lasers for inexplicable reasons. Even though they're technically explained. By, you know, science! You have to say it like that to get the point across, that it's it's not science. Yeah, hit this one. <laughs> Damn it, Chitose! Nope, want to leave that one standing for now. Okay. Nope, I'm evading you. Or I'm defending either way. during WoW raids, there are some times where I said to the raid leader, hold on, I'm gonna do science to it. And they always made the raid leader groan at me. Edge, did you just imply you peed yourself? Or is my mind going to the wrong place? Time to actually fight the Blarmarg. Blarmag. 
this bungling inferior race dares to approach head on? Who gave you the right to talk about others like that? The right? You've gotta be kidding me. That's it, I've had it. Full speed ahead, Nine. It's up to you to unleash Vangray's true potential, sis. No, it's up to us, Nine. Roger that. He got quite a bit of health. I speed Battle ただ戻じゃねえようだな all right, plain friend. Do you have Excel? Do not. You have Boost Dash, though. Is that going to get you close enough to hurt? It will! Plain friend gets a second kill! Are you okay, Mori? We're gonna finish this as soon as possible, so please hold on a little while longer. You don't have to worry about me, just focus on fighting. I can't. You're the key to retaking Yamato, after all. Hmm, I wonder what he means by that. We'll find out later. Who, who, who needs kills? 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 It looks like a Juno! I cannot get you cheer because I already spent it. Oh well. I'm taking you down! Fire! That's it. <laughs> Not a lot of build up for an attack. He's just post dramatic. Fire! Hey, new type skill went up. Alright, now the goal is to soften Ghoulie the fuck up. Guess who's gonna do it first? Who's Hayato? Hmm, we'll find out later. Now for his close range attack. All right, let's soften him up a little bit. You know what? He doesn't like Tatsuya. So Tatsuya's going to get a punch in. Actually, sword to sword. It, it's the only thing that makes sense. You, you're reading my movements? Reliance on speed makes your moves tedious. My technique and discipline will stop you in your tracks. Then I'll just have to move faster. I'll make you painfully aware of your limits. Oh, 
All right, now time to go big. Damn it! How did I lose? Your speed isn't all it cracked up to be. You! And as punishment for losing, I want you to tell us everything. As if I could possibly do that. Trying to escape? My name is Ghoulie, a Gudim soldier. Oh? And don't you forget it. I'll be way faster than you next time. There's no need to give chase. Judging by his tone, I feel like we'll be seeing him again soon. I do hope so. Maybe we'll get some answers next time. But first, we need to crush the Martian assessors and retake Yamato. Understood. Hmm. What is it? Thanks for coming back to me, Nine. Just doing my duty. The Unknown have been destroyed. We still don't know who they are or what, or what they're after. Our only clue is the word Garden by, used by that ghouly guy. The fact that he said he was on a mission means that someone ordered him to do it. Then that someone is after us. Perhaps they're angry at us for turning the tables on the drones? But aren't they the ones who attacked us? It's his appearance more than anything. He said we haven't seen the last of him. If we assume they teleported, the organization must have come out with them. Their speed-obsessed organization's name is probably Garden then. And why are they after us? Leave it be for now, Tobia. We have work to do now, don't we? Retaking Yamato. We've got to crush the Martian successors first. You're right. I'll organize the information. Please come aboard our ship, Lieutenant Kadai. Understood. Nine. Yes? Mind if we talk later? Sure. Hey, we got an extra dash skill and we got a booster part. So we got some extra movement for folks if we wanted. Tomeo's two custom hanger. Unbelievable. How could Yamato fall into Martian successor's hands? Maybe it defeated with boson jump tactics? It was defeated? Mm -mm, more typos. That was certainly a factor. But there's a reason Yamato was unable to resist. What reason? Commander Okita collapsed. Huh? I heard he'd been in bad shape since the Battle of Jalis. I think that the teleportation affected him as well. Just as Martian Sixer surrounded us, he found himself in need of emergency surgery. Grasping the severity of the situation, Exo Sonata decided to follow the Martian Successor's instructions and stop resisting. But they're planning to use terror to overthrow society! Calm down, Tobia. We've never been fans of guys who urge us to cooperate at gunpoint. Yamato suffered considerable damage due to the teleportation. The commander's surgery and Yamato's repairs. We just needed more time. But didn't the Martian Successor siege Yamato in the hopes of making it part of their own fighting force? The Exo assumed that would be the case, so we had a meeting with the engineering officer and exaggerated the severity of the damage. That man really knows how to keep his cool. He threatened to obliterate nearby facilities if bothered, and that prevented him from coming closer. He also, he also said we'd cooperate with completing repair after completing repairs. This not only prevented them from meddling, it also caused them to confine it as if it was diseased. The commander has since recovered and returned to active duty. I see, so that's why you've begun a counterattack. But is it everything really okay? Doesn't Lieutenant Kadai's absence put Yamato at a disadvantage? Not a problem. We took action to retake Yamato. Had insurgents at key posts. But we had to flee after this plan failed. We to the rescue with a dose of reality. You might make fun of me, Tobia. But to me, all the people who were entrusted with a message from Bernadette. Ah! Not sure how I feel about that. With all the trouble on Ama uh, Amaterasu, we figured the Earth Federation would come. We never expected you guys. We've all had our own share of difficulties. But we can't stop now. The Martian successors know we're close. With Yamato, I doubt he'll move his HQ from Amaterasu. 
He'll probably assemble nearby forces. If we're not careful, we could end up against everything the Martian successors got. So what do we do? We might need to use our secret weapon. We're also preparing our own plan to capture Amaterasu. Plan? Yes, I've added this group for that. I've added this group to this very purpose. I've been added to this group, is I think what they meant to say. All right, Vangray Cockpit. Sis, I've been waiting for you, Nine. You wanted to talk? Let's make up. Huh? Make out? No, make up. Oh. I'm sorry, Nine. I'm sure you had only the best intentions with the whole Tetsia thing. And yet I failed to consider your feelings. That's not true. If anything, I didn't consider yours. My feelings? I could tell you like Tatsuya from how you tried to defend him. Huh? And the fact that Tatsuya risked his life to save you means the feeling is mutual. What? Lucky you. Um, Nine? Are you suggesting you dislike Tatsuya? No, I wouldn't say that. Hmm. I like him, just not in the romantic sense that you seem to be suggesting. I've heard that men and women can't be friends. And where did you hear that? Saburota. Well, what do you think, sis? Tatsuya is not my friend. We're comrades. Comrades? We risk our lives in battle together. And that's why I believe in Tatsuya and can count on him to save me. I'm a little jealous, because I'll never be your comrade, sis. What are you talking about? You're like a sister to me. A sister? Like I said, you're more than AI to me. Then again, I'm not much of an older sister with you ha always helping me out more than I help you. I wouldn't say that. You're pretty incredible, sis. You never cease to amaze me. And today is no exception. I now know what comrade means. Very happy to hear that. Let's do our best, Nine. We'll get, we gotta get Yamato back. And then what? We'll think about that when the time comes. Our first order of business is stop the Martian successor's threat to world peace. Agreed, sis. But even if we retake Yamato, it doesn't mean we'll be able to get home. And we might be too late even if we do. And yet, we have to press on. Nine and I have to give our our all. Boom, and that's the end of that scenario. Thankfully, while we did technically get new units, they're returning folks. So we don't have to worry about customization, power parts, or skill program stuff, because I already did all that. Let's see what happens at the factory. Ace pilot stuff, but we didn't get to do this because Nine wasn't part of the team officially as an, uh, to be able to give the ace pilot uh, speeches. Thanks, Nine. Feels great to get to this point. I can't help but notice you're a very striking smile. It reminds me of a wild animal in a way. It's not polite to compare people to animals, Nine. You're right. I'm sorry. You're a human after all. That's right. I'm definitely human. And perhaps you can tell me the most important human emotion of all. I'm talking about love. Love? What the hell can I teach you about that? Plenty of things, I'm sure. Please, Ryoma, I need you to teach me everything you know about love. This is sounding like a different kind of crossover, if you know what I'm saying. S Sorry, Nine. But that's way out of my league. And another one ran away. He ran away. That's unfortunate. He sure gets flustered over a simple request. Almost makes me wonder if maybe he's not really a human after all. Maybe he is some kind of wild animal. Lady, half the people have run away from you from that question. There, unless you're gonna call, if you're gonna call him a wild animal, you're gonna have to call the rest that too. And Kincaid. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really flattered that you think uh, to bring me to a fancy, place as fancy as this. You're a rather shy person for someone who was once the ace pilot already for the Crossbone Vanguard. That's because in another life, I was just a lowly baker who made bread for a living. Earning this title is nice. Seeing people enjoy my bread is what makes me happiest. That and also bear a smile, I'd imagine. Yeah, I guess you're right. Nine's gag reel. Yep. If it's okay with you, I'd like to hear about your history with Barrow when, when you first met till now. Uh, maybe we can talk about it when we're back on Earth. Why not now? Like you said, I'm a really shy guy deep down. It'd be better if we talked about uh, with her about that sort of stuff, seeing as we're both women and all. Fair enough. Then we'll both have to make sure we get back to Earth in one piece so we can have that conversation. I'm mad. Can't process emotions and speak honestly about them. Could I? Nine, is it? You could easily pass as human. I'm sure you'd impress Analyzer. Well, I was also impressed with the skills you showed in battle today. I've always been top three in aerial combat since my days in the military academy. And unless you fight your style, I got 100 attack points. You can actually do that? But there's one thing I didn't understand. With your piloting, I thought you would fight more aggressively than you did. I had Morian back, you know. I couldn't put his life at risk. Her. They get the pronouns mixed up a lot for some reason. I see, so that's why. That's why. Your conversation seems kind of awkward. <laughs> she says, right next to them. Efficiency, rationality, feelings, life. 
Are they contradictory or not? Boom! Uh, we can get another Chobot armor, which I don't really need. Let's grab a sniper kit. Uh, do do do. Suborders! As usual, nobody needs score. So, only thing I care about are levels. Uh, so let's get people levels that I might actually use. Like Hathaway, Luna Maria. Not Luna Maria, I probably won't use her. Salia. Oops. Actually, I was kind of planning on doing an old uh, too. Let's do Curse and Mao as well. And the rest, auto fell. Okie dokie. Let's save up. Setting up a marker. Marker. And. 